In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to delete your Outlook account. Now, whether you're moving to a different email service or simply wish to close down an account you no longer use, this step-by-step -step guide will help you through the process in just a few minutes. So let's dive right in and make sure you follow along carefully to safely close your Outlook account. First, let's navigate to the Outlook sign-in page. You can find this easily by opening your web browser and visiting the Microsoft 365 Outlook portal. Once you're there, you'll likely see a button prompting you to sign in. Go ahead and click on the sign in button. This will likely be the key that opens up your email world and helps us proceed with the account closure. Simply enter your email address and password to access your account as you usually would. Don't worry if you need a moment to remember your password, we all do. Once you've signed in, you'll be directed to the Outlook Mail homepage. This is usually where you check your emails and manage daily communication. However, today we're on a different mission. Now, at the top right of the page, you should see a user icon, typically a silhouette or your profile picture, depending on your account settings. You'll want to click this icon, which will open a drop-down menu displaying several options. From this menu, select My Microsoft Account. This is the portal where you control all things related to your Microsoft profile, and it's where we'll spend the majority of our time today. Upon selecting My Microsoft Account, you should be navigated to your account overview. You'll see various tabs that provide different options and information about your account. The important tab here is labelled Your Info. Go ahead and click on Your Info, and this will open up another set of options specific to personal data and preferences associated with your Microsoft account. Now under the Your Info section, you're going to look for a link or an option that says Close Your Account. Click on it. It might seem a bit intimidating at first, but don't worry, this is simply taking us to the next important step in the closure process. This link will direct you to the close account page, where the actual process of shutting down begins. Before proceeding, it's essential to understand the implications of closing your account permanently. This action will not only delete all emails and data in your Outlook account, but also affects any service or subscription tied to your Microsoft account. This could include things like Xbox, OneDrive, and any metadata or personal settings in the broader Microsoft ecosystem. So if there's anything you need to save or migrate, consider doing so before advancing further. Once you're ready to finalize your decision, the page will display several checks to ensure you are fully informed about what closing your account entails. Microsoft values secure practices, so you'll see prompts to verify your identity to ensure it's truly you attempting to make this change. Go through these prompts carefully, follow the instructions, and provide any necessary confirmations requested of you. These steps might involve re-entering your password or answering security questions. At this stage, you might be asked to provide reasons for closing your account. Though it's optional, sharing feedback can help Microsoft improve their services, but feel free to skip this if you prefer. Finally, there will be an option to set a closure period. Typically, Microsoft gives a grace period, typically spanning 60 days, where the account can be recovered if you have a change of heart. During this time, your data might be frozen, but will eventually be permanently deleted once that period elapses. If you're certain about closing it, confirm and proceed onto finishing line. And there you have it, those are the steps to close your Outlook account. Remember, once your account is deleted after the grace period, it cannot be reversed, so make sure all critical data is backed up if necessary. If you ever find the need to return, you can always create a new account with Outlook anytime in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to stay updated with more tips and guides like this one. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video.